Hi, this is Eric from datafeeder.com. Thanks for checking out the Ads by Data Feeder plugin. Um, in my last screencast, I embedded uh, this ad in, uh, above my post and below the title by adding this PHP function to um, one of my template files, one of my themes template files. Um, and I also have that sorting randomly. So, or ordering randomly. So every time the page loads, it loads a different ad. And every time the page loads, it counts an, as an impression. Let me turn on impressions for an admin account so we can see it change. Let's go to ads. We don't have any, we have very few impression accounts because um, I had that disabled the whole time. So let's take a look. We can see that the datafeeder.com ad has had zero impressions. Um, you see that right here. Now let's go ahead and reload the page. There's the datafeeder.com ad just loaded, and we can reload this page, and we'll see that we have an impression account, impression count. So um, every time the data feeder ad loads, it will count. So load it a couple times in there, and probably give us two. Okay, load again. Come on, come on. Yeah, of course it doesn't show up now. There it is. Okay, so, and we reload again. Okay, there. Three. <clears throat> okay, but what happens if you have uh, one of the caching plugins um, that are popular installed on your site? Well, two things will happen. One, um, no longer will your ads rotate randomly if you've configured them to rotate randomly or display randomly. And two, uh, your impressions won't be counted anymore. So you won't be able to track uh, impressions for each ad and, and, to, and to turn off ads if they've hit that, num uh, that, that impression count. So um, we're able to get around this um, by adding one little parameter to our function or our short, short code. So if we come back into, um, we've already closed that, but we'll go down to ads. We're doing PHP. Um, I'm just going to basically recreate this code that we have here. Uh, we're doing uh, as for posts, we're doing one ad randomly. Um, we have, uh, this is an impost for the CSS ID, and everything else was about the same. And then here we want to actually use this, and we want to return return JavaScript. So basically, what that does is it just, it just adds one more parameter to our function call, and it says return underscore JavaScript equals one. So I'm just going to add that line to the function that's in our uh, template file and just so as a reminder that function is returning this ad here. So I'm going to put in here um, actually first I want to turn on my ad or my uh, my caching plugin. So I have W3 total, uh, total, W3 total cache installed. I'm going to activate that and then I'm going to make sure it's configured correctly um, and I want to enable. All right, so now that that's enabled, we'll get one more reload, and then both of the, this section of ads will stop rotating, and this section of ads will stop rotating, and they are both set to rotate randomly. So there's our reload, and now every other time we reload this page, those ads are gonna stay the same. jQuery ad will always be there until the cache is flushed, and these three ads will appear in the same order every single time. Um, so I'll continue to show you they're not changing. So we need to fix that because right now, as it is, um, if we go up to ads again, all ads, you can see that here's our jQuery ad. It's at 120 impressions. And if I reload the page five or six times, and then come back to all ads, and then go back down to jQuery, you can see that it hasn't actually counted any impressions. So that's not good either. So 
what we need to do is go into our function file and we're going to add ret return JavaScript equals one and then put an ampersand between that. I'll save that. Now you can you can do the same attribute for if you were using uh, the short code um, you know in a post or, or in a sidebar widget. I'll do that in a second. So now um, we've done that. Now the only issue here is I'll keep doing that and not, or keep reloading this page and it's not changing. That's because we just need to flush our cache. I'm going to empty all caches. And now you can see all the caches were emptied, so the, everything refreshed. Now when I reload the page, this ad here in the middle um, should rotate randomly and the impressions should count. Oh, I'm going to get rid of that. But these ads here and the sidebar won't change. So go ahead and reload, reload, reload. So now we have data feeder. But these ads will stay the same. Reload, data feeder, those are the same. Not data feeder again. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, there's not that many ads in there to choose from. So we're wordpress.org, but these are still the same. Refresh the page, HTML5, but these are still the same. And we can continue to refresh the page, and these will be displayed randomly where these are um, not, because we haven't added the return uh, JavaScript uh, parameter to this call. Let's go ahead and go check our ad impressions. Remember jQuery was at 120. Why is, it, oh, maybe it hasn't reloaded, it hasn't loaded again. There's jQuery, and let's reload this page. There we go, 121. It just hadn't loaded in there. Now, um, like I said, uh, we want to do the same thing for our advertisements in our sidebar. Those are controlled in our widget, advertisements, and I can add this anywhere. So I'm going to put ampersand return underscore JavaScript equals one. Click save. Now I'm probably going to have to clear my cache again. Empty all caches. It's really important that you do that or you'll drive yourself crazy trying to figure out what's going on. And then I'll reload the page. Reload. Reload. So now all the advertisements on the page. This uh, this advertisement um, below, below the post title and these advertisements in the sidebar widget are being served by JavaScript. This means what two things. Um, impressions will be count, counted and if you're uh, sorting them, ordering them randomly, um, the, the uh, script will respect that as well. So that's how you can deal with um, some of the caching plugins out there that tend to cache the whole pages and it's great for, um, it's great for speed, uh, uh, loading your pages pretty fast. However, um, if you want random ads and you want to count impressions, this is the way to get around that.